What's going on? This is Julian with True Nerd back with another video. Um, I actually had some other content planned uh, to go up on the channel soon. Uh, got a little busy. I just got back from PAX East 2022. Um, so I'll probably be showing like some of the tech and stuff that I travel with. Um, but this video is about getting a job in gaming. So for those who don't know, um, I do work for Xbox. And recently I just made a post where uh, I kind of just talked about I'm, I'm a year in now and, and uh, Microsoft or Xbox is really a great company. Um, and I just started getting all these requests and messages about um, getting a job in gaming. Now, um, I don't think it's not a very straightforward thing, but that's probably why people were asking these questions. Um, but I just wanted to kind of talk about how I got in and then giving or giving a few tips and answering a few questions that I've been getting like on LinkedIn and Twitter and stuff like that. Um, so first, um, I work for Xbox Game Studios Publishing. Uh, so we make or we work with external studios to make games for uh, Xbox and PC. And I um, actually was able to interview through a hiring event um, that they were having for product managers. I'm actually a business manager. I, I did not get the first job um, that I applied for, but I did um, make it through the interview process, I was a good fit for the company. Um, so they kind of shot me around the different departments. Um, now, one of the first things I kind of want to address or one of the first tips I want to talk about um, when trying to get a job with a gaming company um, is kind of thinking about your focus. Um, so me, when I applied for the job at Xbox, um, I applied for a PM role, which is what I did before um, I came over to Xbox. Um, now, on the side, if you now you can find some of my other content over on the Game Fanatics, and if you go way back, maxlevel.org. Um, I've been doing uh, video game tech uh, reviews and content for almost ten years now, and. Um, so I have been doing that on the side and I, and I'll get, and that'll be a, another thing. I'll get to that in a second, but kind of pick your focus. So one of the questions I asked someone who reached out to me is whether they were trying to pivot or whether they were trying to kind of work in their area of expertise within gaming. Um, now, wait, let me check. Uh, I think we're a little unfocused. There we go. Um, now I asked this because um, there are some people who are just trying to do a total career change. And if that's the case, don't forget, you still need the skills for whatever job you're um, applying to. Um, at the end of the day, the parent company, I still work for Microsoft, but outside of that, whether you're going for a game at Riot, Ubisoft, all of these places, you still need, need the skills for whatever job that you're applying for. Um, now, when I talk to some younger people about getting into gaming, I think the mindset has changed about what that means. Um, getting into gaming for some people now means content creator, uh, streamer, um, something along those lines. Now, if that's what you want to do, you can start that on your own. Start right now in whether it's writing for your own site, creating your own site, your own YouTube channel and treat those avenues as some as a sort of a resume. Um, if that's not what you're trying to do, if you want to be a business manager, a project manager, a developer, um, even if you're pivoting, you still have to have those skills. Uh, working at a game company is not any different um, than working at any other company. It just happens to be the, the kind of the subject matter happens to be video games. And, and that kind of gets into uh, this other piece. Um, companies want to know that you have a passion and if not a passion, at least an interest in what 
in the company that you're applying to be a part of. So like I said before, I've been doing content creation for nine or 10 years now, and I don't make, I make little to no money doing that. I do it purely because I enjoy gaming, technology, um, and the doors that my content creation kind of opens when it comes to gaining access to different events. Um, and I think that what's, that's what one of the things that separates uh, one candidate from another. Um, if you don't have a passion, then you could be the best candidate in the world, but they know that you may not last or you may not be in this job for the long run or for the long haul. Um, so yeah, just going back, um, covering some things. Are you trying to pivot from a different job? If so, make sure you have the skills. Um, if you're not trying to pivot again, make sure you have those skills and then show you have a passion. Those are the things that are going to get you into some of these companies. And if it's a company that's already hard to get into, um, like, so Microsoft, if you really think about it, owns things like LinkedIn, um, Xbox, um, a ton of other things that I'm, I'm kind of forgetting about, but all these different companies. Applying specifically to one of these kind of subsidiaries will not make it any easier to get into the company. Um, but I will also say, don't be detoured because it's hard to get into these companies. Um, sometimes you're just not the right fit for that specific position. Uh, but also don't apply for every single job. Um, they can see on their side in the system how many times you're kind of applying. You could just be like throwing something at the wall to see if it sticks kind of folk, like find your focus. And if you, if you go through the interview process and, and you have a situation like me where I didn't get that job, um, even if it's not your focus, if they feel like you can do it, uh, I think you're being in a good space. Um, and even though, uh, the business manager role was not my focus, I do have a business and it background. So, um, yeah, those are just a few of the things I wanted to cover. I, I, I was getting a ton of messages and um, I do want people to get jobs at these companies. There are a ton of jobs out there uh, that need to be filled. And uh, yeah, I like to see some of you all come and uh, work with me. So um, yeah, so definitely check out the careers website. I think it's careers.microsoft.com um, and you can kind of narrow it down by discipline and yeah, uh, good luck. I hope that answers some of your questions. If you have any more questions, go ahead and put them in the comments and uh, I'll talk to you next time.